day everyone! Welcome to another episode of Quick Math Tutorials. Today, we are going to learn about combinations. First, let's have the definition of combination. Combination determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection where the order of the selection does not matter. It is denoted by C, open parenthesis, N, comma, R, close parenthesis, or in some books we have sub N, C, sub R, or C, sub N, R, or C sub n to the power of r, which can be read as the combination of n objects taken r at a time. The formula for the combination is the combination of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r and r is greater than or equal to 0. For our first example, we have In how many ways can a committee consisting of 4 members be formed from 8 people? For our solution, rn is equal to 8 and rr is equal to 4. Using the formula, we will substitute the value of n and the value of r. Then we have the combination of 8 objects taken 4 at a time is equal to rn is equal to 8. So we have 8 factorial over rr is equal to 4. So we have 4 factorial and n minus r or 8 minus 4 factorial. Then we will just copy the numerator, 8 factorial, over, copy the 4 factorial, and 8 minus 4 is just equal to 4 factorial. Then, let's simplify. 8 factorial is just equal to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 factorial. We have 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And another 4 factorial, we have times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then, we can cancel out the same numbers in the numerator and in the denominator. Or we can cancel out the same factors. So, we can cancel 4, the 3, the 2, and 1. So, we will just multiply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. We have 1,680 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals 24. Then we will divide this 1, so the answer is 70. Therefore, there are 70 possible ways that a committee consisting of 4 members be formed from 8 people. Now, let's have our second example. In a 10-item mathematics problem-solving test, how many ways can you select 5 problems to solve? For our solution, Rn is equal to 10 and Rr is equal to 5. Now, using the formula, we will substitute the value of n and the value of r. So we have the combination of 10 objects taken 5 at a time is equal to Rn is equal to 10 factorial over R is equal to 5. So we have 5 factorial and N minus R or 10 minus 5. Then just copy the numerator 10 factorial over copy 5 factorial. And 10 minus 5 is just equal to 5 factorial. Next, 10 factorial is just equal to 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 factorial is just equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And another 5 factorial we have times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 
Then we can cancel out the same factor. So we will cancel 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So we will just multiply 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 and 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So we have 30,240 divided by 120, which is equal to 252. Therefore, there are 252 ways to select 5 problems to solve from the 10 item mathematics problem solving test. For our third example, we have how many different sets of 5 cards each can be formed from a standard deck of 52 cards. For our solution, Rn is equal to 52 and Rr is equal to 5. Now, using the formula, we will substitute again the value of n and r. So we have here the combination of 52 objects taken 5 at a time is equal to our n is equal to 52 factorial over r is equal to 5. So we have 5 factorial n minus r or 52 minus 5. Then copy the numerator 52 factorial over 5 factorial and 52 minus 5, which is equal to 47 factorial. 52 factorial is equal to 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 40 times 47 factorial. We can stop by 47 factorial since we have 47 factorial in the denominator so that we can cancel them out. Over, our 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times copy the 47 factorial. Then cancel out 47 and 47 factorial. So we will just multiply 52 up to 48. So we have 311,875,200 over 120, which is just equal to 2,598,960. And for our last example, we have how many polygons can be possibly formed from six distinct points on a plane, no three of which are collinear? In this problem, we are given six distinct points on a plane. We are asked to form a polygon out of these six points. When we say polygon, there are kinds of polygon depending on its side. So here, we can start with three sides or what we call the triangle the next we have the quadrilateral which has four sides then we have pentagon which has five sides and last we have hexagon which has six sides now we will solve for the combination of the triangle the quadrilateral pentagon and for the hexagon so using the formula we will substitute the value of n and the value of r. So we have 6 factorial over our r is equal to 3 factorial times 6 minus 3 factorial plus 6 factorial over 4 factorial times 6 minus 4 factorial plus 6 factorial over 5 factorial times 6 minus 5 factorial plus 6 factorial over 6 factorial times 6 minus 6 factorial. Then we have, we will just copy the numerator 6 factorial over copy 3 factorial. 6 minus 3, we have 3 factorial plus 6 factorial. 4 factorial, 6 minus 4, we have 2 factorial, plus 6 factorial, 5 factorial, 6 minus 5, which is equal to 1 factorial, 
plus 6 factorial, 6 factorial, and 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 factorial. Then we have 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. We will stop by 3 factorial because there is also 3 factorial in the denominator so that we can cancel them out. So we have 3 times 2 times 1 times 3 factorial. Then here we have 6 times 5 times 4 factorial and 4 factorial times 2 times 1. Then we have 6 times 5 factorial, 5 factorial times 1, plus 6 factorial over 6 factorial and 0 factorial. So we can cancel 3 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, and 4 factorial. 6, 5 factorial over 5 factorial and cancel 6 factorial over 6 factorial. So we have now 6 times 5 times 4, 120, over 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. 6 times 5 equals 30, 2 times 1 equals 2. 6, we have, we have to copy 6 and 1 copy 1. Plus, since we have 0 factorial and 0 factorial is just equal to 1. 120 divided by 6 is equal to 20. 30 divided by 2 equals 15. 6 divided by 1 equals 6. Then copy 1. 20 plus 15 plus 6 plus 1, which is equal to 42. So our final answer is 42. To sum it up, Combination determines the number of possible arrangement in a collection in which order does not matter. So the formula for the combination is the combination of n objects taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r and r is greater than or equal to 0. And that ends our quick math tutorial. If you like the video, please click on the like button. If you have questions, just leave a comment below. And to be notified on my next videos, please click on the subscribe button. Thank you! Bye! Tell me that you love me